This is Carmen with the Petal Couple, and today we're going to be looking at the Elmore Petal. Hey guys, welcome back to another demo. And like I said, today we are looking at the Elmore pedal. This one, even though it is a pedal, it is not an effect pedal. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. But before we go into it, just a quick reminder to please subscribe, like, share our videos, leave a comment below. It really helps us out when you do. And the Elmore pedal. Um, I wanna say that this one is more of a practice tool because it allows you to control online video lessons without having to take your hands off your instrument. Um, it is compatible with different um, music video lesson platforms. Um, so let's say if you are a person that is learning an instrument or you take uh, video lessons because you like to expand your skills on your instrument, um, maybe you're a musician that, uh, you know, you're gigging and you're having to learn songs a lot or having to practice songs that are on YouTube, for example, or learn songs from church. So if this is you, this is a pedal that might be useful to you. Um, and I'm going to go over the things that it does and how it works. Uh, so like I mentioned, it is compatible with different video uh, lesson platforms. It is compatible with different DAWs and with some music streaming services as well. And I'll show you that in a bit uh, when we go over the um, Elmore pedal website as well. Uh, so you can, uh, can see what it is compatible with. Um, so basically with this one, it connects wirelessly via Bluetooth to your, let's say, computer, iPhone or iPad. Um, and then it allows you to control the video lesson with your foot so you don't have to, um, you know, use your hands. So um, with this one, it allows you to pause, play, uh, rewind, fast forward, speed up or speed down. It has a rechargeable battery. It actually comes, um, let me show you here real quick. This really cool box um, comes with a manual sticker and the cable to uh, recharge the uh, device or the pedal so that's what it comes with um, yeah uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how it works so you get an idea on how the you can use the Elmore pedal uh, like I said if you're someone that does uh, video lessons is something that might work for you or if you're having to learn songs um, it might be useful to you because like I said it is compatible with YouTube so yeah let me just show you like I said first we're gonna go over the um, Elmore pedal website and just go over a few things and then I'm gonna actually show you how it works while you know, holding the guitar, kind of go over it. So let's do this. Hey guys, and now I'm gonna be showing you real quick uh, the Elmore pedal website so you can take a look at a couple things such as the platforms that it's compatible with. Uh, so this is the Elmore pedal website here. Um, if we go to show, let me just show you a little bit more. There we go, okay. And then uh, this is if you were wanting to buy it, of course, and we're going to leave the uh, link to the website on the description below. All right, you can see the cost. Uh, and this here are some of the features that I already went over, uh, such as, you know, that you connect via Bluetooth, uh, how you can control the video. Uh, here's the so the devices that is compatible with so iPad, iPhone, MacBook, and PC. Uh, we are using ours in PC. Um, here's the compatible platforms. So like we mentioned already, YouTube, which I think 
almost everybody uses uh, we are going to be demonstrating it with youtube and uh with fender play true fire um ultimate guitar even drumio so um even drummers can um utilize this so really cool uh digital audio workstations or daws let me go down here because you can see it more clearly so garage band guitar pro uh logic pro pro tools so just a couple of them uh, we use Ableton. It is not compatible with Ableton yet, but they are working on that. So we're excited about that because that's what we use. Um, and then with the uh, streaming music services is Apple Music and Spotify. All right, and then the Elmore modes here. So kind of depend on what you use, it kind of goes over and how to switch modes. So if you're going to be using it with one of the platforms, the video lesson platforms that I mentioned, um, a DAW or the um, uh, streaming music service. And then support is really easy to install. Uh, you pretty much install the Elmore pedal extension, uh, the browser extension. On our end, like I said, we are using it with YouTube on a PC. So we installed the um, Elmore pedal extension for Google Chrome, uh, but it's pretty easy to install. They have really clear instructions. So this is where you will go to um, you know, check how you will install it and all that. So, yeah, they have really good um, instructions and videos and things like that. But yeah, let me show you now how it works. We're gonna be, I'm um, gonna be growing my guitar. So you can see that my hands are on, on the guitar at all times. I'm not gonna really be doing a lesson. It's just like kind of show you like I'm grabbing my guitar I'm, and I'm controlling everything with my foot. So, um, and I'm gonna be showing you one of our videos just because it's easier. But um, yeah, let me show you real quick. I'm gonna go grab my guitar. Hey guys, and now I'm going to show you how the Elmore works. I have the guitar in hand. I'm not going to be really doing like a lesson or anything. It's just that you guys can see that I'm controlling the video while holding my guitar. I'm going to be doing it with my foot. Um, and we're going to be using YouTube, like I mentioned, and just one of our videos because it's easier. Um, so yeah, right now, if you can see that video is pause. And if I press the... Um, the button here on the side if I press it just hit on it it's that's play like you can see and then if I want to pause it I'll press the same button simple as that and then uh, let me play it again let's say if I want to do the fast forward you would just uh, leave the right button press down like that and the same thing for rewind you would uh, press the left button like this or just like that see it's the rewind and then speed down and speed up you would uh, for the uh, slowing the speed you are going to hit the um, you're going to press the left button twice so let's do this is slow down the speed I think I have already <laughs> slowed it down and then if I want to speed it up I would do the same thing but on the uh, right pressing down the right button speed it up there and speed it up again that's the normal speed so yeah and you can go even slower and even faster like you see I um, went down like two speeds kind of with the um speed down like slower and then you can speed it up as well i think you will rather <laughs> slow it down when you're going through a lesson and speed it up but yeah that's how it how it works let me pause it here so yeah that's basically how it works that you can see it's pretty simple i find it useful we found it useful for practicing and learning songs like i said if we have a gig or for church um since we don't have to be using our mouse or our keyboard 
uh, we avoid hitting our guitar with the desk, things like that. It's things that normally happen when we are, you know, controlling or like watching a video and we're controlling it with the mouse or the keyboard. So, uh, like I said, if you're someone that you do video lessons, either because you're, you know, learning an instrument or because you are um, expanding your skills, uh, learning a song for, for gigs or uh, things like that, this is something that will probably be useful. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think about the Elmore pedal on the description below. Uh, thank you Elmore for sending us the pedal for us to demo. Um, definitely check it out. Like I said, we're leaving the link in the description below. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. <laughs>